okay in uh, k means clustering uh, you have uh, you have to find the centroids so initially these are the five steps you have initially you need to select the k initial clusters or it will be given in the question which are the initial clusters then you need to use a distance measure to find the distance of every object to the centroid so here they can specify either to use manhattan distance or euclidean distance based on that you need to use uh, the distance measure then you need to assign each object to the closest centroid i'll explain what that is and then you need to recompute the centroids so this question says that there are eight points which mean which we need to divide into the three into three clusters and the distance functions to be used is manhattan distance suppose initially we are assigned a1 b1 c1 as the centers of each clusters so they are mentioning three centroids that is a1 b1 and c1 so the eight points are given over here so use the k means algorithm to show the three cluster centers around the first round execution so what the first part of this question says is by using the k means algorithm find after the first iteration what are the most uh, what are the centers that are most likely to be correct all right the second part is find the final three centroids so if they ask us to find the final three centroids that's like a 12 mark question that that takes a lot of iterations but uh, just finding the centroids for the first iteration simple so they've given us eight points and then they've given us that a1 b1 and c1 are the centroids for the first iteration so when you see uh, write down all the eight points in uh, in the rows and then take the initial three centroids that they mentioned a1 b1 and c1 so a1 is 2 comma 10 b1 is 5 comma 8 c1 is 1 comma 2 write down the centroids on top then this question said use manhattan distance so now i try and find out the manhattan distance between the centroid sen1 and a1 so 2 minus 2 will be 0 plus 10 minus 10 will be 0 equal to 0 then i find the manhattan distance between centroid 2 and a1 so it will be 2 minus 5 and plus 10 minus 8 so you get that as 5 same thing i find for centroid 3 as 9 then the rightmost column is going to be the minimum centroid so you need to find the minimum distance of all these three columns so for for the first point it's going to be 0 so you write the centroid is centroid 1 because we got 0 under centroid 1 so for point a2 where uh, you have uh, 2 comma 5 as the point find the distance manhattan distance with centroid centroid 1 2 minus 2 will be 0 5 minus 10 will be 5 similarly for centroid 2 it's 8 for centroid 3 it's 4 here 4 is the minimum number so you assign centroid 3 to point a2 similarly a3 you find distance you get 8 7 and 9 7 is the least number that you get so you assign it centroid 2 because 7 lies under centroid 2 after doing this for all eight points you notice that the last table has the minimums so there is centroid 1 3 a lot of twos 3 and 2 again so this is the calculation of centroid now the second step is to recalculate the centroid so when you recompute the centroid you take the average of all this all the points that you've just gotten so going back to this table centroid 1 has occurred only once so you just copy the same centroid 1 as it is but centroid 2 if you notice centroid 2 is present in 1 2 3 4 5 places so these five points you correspond its x and y value of the five points that you get and you take an average of that so 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 5 similarly for the y coordinates also after you take an average you get the new centroid so initially centroid 2 was 5 comma 8 but the new centroid is 6 comma 6 same thing for centroid 3 there are two coordinates that lie under centroid 3 take the average again you get new points so then the first part of the question is done you have assigned the centroids but if they say find the final centroid that means there's only one cluster for that i need to do the iteration all over again but this time the centroid c2 and c3 get the updated values and again i find the centroid table so we need to keep doing this until the centroid table has just one value so it's either going to be centroid 1 or 2 or 3 for all the eight points so that's going to be a lot of iterations so mostly we won't have that